Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you're new here, hello, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing if you enjoyed today's video. And if you're back, of course, welcome back. Today I am here with an unboxing that was sent to me to share with you all. And this is from Mary's Diamonds, from one of their most recent launches of new artwork. Uh, they reached out to me and asked if they could send me one of these kits to check out. I think that they have made some updates and upgrades since the last time that I tried them, um, but we're going to get into it and take a very close look. So let's go ahead and start cutting into this. This did come in this sort of plastic black trash bag material, which it did rip a little bit in shipping, but... Hopefully everything is undamaged. So how are you all doing today? I hope you're doing very well. And I'm very curious to hear if you have ordered from Mary's Diamonds in the past. What has your experience been like? And have you taken a look at any of the new artwork that they've shared? So this is the box that it came in. It is plastic sealed, which I don't recall actually being the case when I've purchased from them in the past. So, but this is, I recognize sort of the branding. It is the same. Now I do want to state just right up front that any opinions that I'm sharing are entirely my own and are just my own personal experience based on this kit. My personal approach to how I handle doing unboxings, um, whether or not it's a kit that's been sent to me for review or something I've purchased, I'm really not going to speak into what other people's experiences have been. I'm just going to speak from my own to the best of my ability. But know that I'm always striving to be authentic and honest with you in all things. So I will say that while this box is just a little bit crunched, I distinctly remember past packages from them coming quite a bit more crunched. So they have put some really basic instructions on the back. Really curious about what that leads to. Um, yeah, so let's get, let's get into it. A little dinged up, but that's okay. I think I had heard that with the boxes in particular that they were upgrading the boxes slightly because a lot of people were having issues with the boxes. Is there more in there? No. With the boxes getting crushed really easily. So this does, I think, feel like a slightly thicker cardboard than I've seen in my previous kits from them. It's been several months since I've ordered from them. So just to keep that in mind. It did come in this plastic bag, so I appreciate that there are multiple layers of protection so that if the package were to get wet in transit, I feel like my kit is pretty well protected. I'm guessing that that's some sort of model, <laughs> model number. Of course, the camera doesn't want to focus. Cute little pink ribbon. I think this is what they call like a, is this a soft lint canvas? It's actually a nice material, which I like unwrapping a little present here <laughs> so let's take a look at this piece now um, okay so the canvas is a little crunched over here but if you haven't guessed from seeing the clear cover already this is a poured glue canvas and so any wrinkles that we're seeing will hopefully come out pretty easily so this is the piece that I chose this is called Illuminate. Ooh, we're going to need to roll this. Okay. While I roll it, let me talk. So the name of this piece is Illuminate and it is licensed. Okay. We're going to see what we can do about these wrinkles. Um, it is licensed. Uh, all of Mary's Diamonds kits are legally licensed pieces. They right now have things broken down into artist collections. And this one in particular is from the artist Fizzy Pop Cake, which has been on there for a little while, but none of the kits have totally caught my eye. But when I saw this one in their batch of new releases, I got to flip it this way too. Sorry, guys. When I saw this one in their batch of new releases, I thought, ooh, I think I do want to try that. That one, that just looks, you know what? It, it's reminding me of a, a recent new release from another company. <laughs> um, I don't know, it just kind of has that fun, like, 
in an ultra like futuristic vibe, but it's really cool. See, look at those vibrant colors. At very first glance at this canvas, I like the rendering that I'm seeing, but these, man, yeah, these wrinkles are looking rather stubborn. The edges are still wanting to curl up, but let's try this. So aside from rolling the canvas backwards like I just did, which is safe to do with poured glue canvases, not double-sided adhesive or mounted adhesive or what have you, it's safe on poured glue to do that, but you can also pull back the plastic cover and um, lay it back down and that'll help. But I don't know if you guys are seeing that in the camera very well. There, that kind of gave, that kind of showed you. There's quite a bit of wrinkling in here. I'm hoping that will lay flat. Maybe this is the sort of thing that'll have to go under a mattress for a bit. And you know what? To be completely honest with you, I've worked on a couple of canvases that have been, the canvas itself has been this material. I don't know, I think Crafties maybe. Um, I don't know what it is, but they are just so fold prone and so stubborn. It's a bummer because these are like, it feels like a really nice quality canvas. It feels like, you know, and the poured glue seems to be a nice quality as well, but there's something about these canvases that just seems to make them so fold prone. And I don't know why. Just let that rest for a minute. Um, and you guys saw when I pulled this out and went to unroll it, this was not wrapped that tightly. You know, it wasn't like sometimes how you see these kits from um, like particularly double-sided adhesive kits where you see them wrapped super tight around a foam roller. Um, no, this was wrapped rather <laughs> like, like the way that I see Diamond Art Club wrap their canvases around the drills and the toolkit. So, okay, that helped. And most of the wrinkles that you're seeing now are in the plastic cover. And hopefully the others will just settle as you put drills on. That has been my experience in the past, but it does make it just a little bit tricky to work on. Cause look at how that top just really wants to fold over. Okay, let's take a look at the rest of the canvas, shall we? So we have branding up here at the top. I like how they have surged and um, scalloped edges. So that should help with any fraying that might, you know, <laughs> want to happen. Here's another QR code. Don't know what that does. <laughs> we do have a legend on the top left and the bottom right. And we also have, there's the original artwork. 42 colors the name, that must be the model number, and 60 by 60. I did take a look at this listing on the website and there currently is only one size listed for this piece and it is 60 by 60. Uh, taking a look at the legend on the right, let's take a look at the symbols just to see if anything stands out to us as problematic. So whenever I see a lowercase g, I also check to make sure whether there's a nine, a number nine, and I don't see one, which is good. You know, just looking for the potentially problematic symbols that you might mix up. There's this green plus, well, green background, white plus sign, and a green background, white X, and a dark blue background with the clover. We'll take a look at the canvas here in just a moment and make sure that none of those are too similar to one another. Same here, this equal sign and this pound sign are both on a red background. Uh, let's see how these look when we actually look at the drill field, but first, the rest of the canvas. We have branding over here. Mary's does seem to be pretty active on Instagram. And then I'm not totally sure why there are faces on here, but um, I have found them to generally be responsive when I've reached out to them on Instagram with any questions or um, thoughts or whatnot. So taking a look, at least here in the red area, Things like the H's and the pound signs are pretty distinct and the equals sign as well. I'm not going to mix those up. I wanna find those greens now. And as we're looking at the canvas, you can see this looks like it's going to be a pretty, pretty generous mix of color blocking and confetti. I mean, she's like, she's under an umbrella in the rain. 
So that's not completely shocking. Okay, that might be the only green in the entire piece is those right there. That's fine. Uh, this kit, hold on, let me, hold on. Hold that thought, Katie. Don't get ahead of yourself. So yes, taking a look at the drill field. Oh my gosh, is that M, is that 310 or 939? Let's see, 310. <laughs> All of this is just black. I hope these drills are good quality so that I can color block and uh, multi-place rather, and this will go fast, I bet. That's cute. The only green in this piece is in her eye though. <laughs> so um, I guess I don't really need to worry about how similar those symbols are. Okay, let me show you the toolkit that they send. I feel like on the website I saw like some branded fabric looking bags, but I, I don't know, I'm not totally sure. So you get a pen, a sparkly pen with the squishy on, multi-placer, another multi-placer included, and this is one of the, th yeah, this looks like one of the thin ones, which is the style that I vastly prefer to the thicker ones. You get a few plates of pink wax, this nice large white boat, and then easily my favorite part of Mary's Diamonds toolkits is the sparkly gold tweezers. <laughs> I love these and they are pointy. They don't seem to have come with a little like cap to put on them, but that's, that's all right. Okay, let's flip this over. We're gonna take a look at the drills. And like I said, taking a look at the legend, it looks like we're gonna have four ABs. I don't believe, I'm not, I'll, I'll double check. I don't believe that it's specified on the listing how many ABs there would be, but it looks like according to this legend that we're going to have four. So let's flip this over and let's get into these. If I had to guess, I'm gonna guess that that is the same. Yep. Okay, so you've got the name, I'm bending this canvas, that is not going to help. So anyway, I'll just point over here. <laughs> under the thumbnail, under that spot where it says name and has like, it has this basically, MR46458-01. Uh, so if for whatever reason you decide that you wanna store this canvas separate from the drills, not in the box that they came in, which actually, since I'm probably going to put this under my mattress to help flatten out um, and like stop this edge from wanting to curl up, uh, it'll be really helpful because I'm not gonna store my drills under my mattress. <laughs> I'm gonna store my drills under my mattress. I feel so weird that I said that out loud, but okay. Um, so now it's gonna be super easy for me to match it back up again, especially because the box itself, okay, well the box itself has, you can't really tell because of the angle, but has that on there as well. The box doesn't have the name of the image. Um, or like a thumbnail of the image itself. So I don't know, these are the things that I think through. <laughs> when you have a large stash, you have to think through stuff like that too. Okay, look at all those colors. Okay, we are going to dig into these. So if you're not a huge fan of the crinkle, go ahead and mute for a moment or fast forward. I know that these are all packaged just so beautifully. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out all of them because I want to be thorough. <laughs> um, look at just this whole rainbow of color. It seems like these were maybe in a, yeah, these were in just a slight order, but that's okay, that's not a big deal. Okay, so it looks like, let me show you one that'll be easier to see. Okay, it looks like they have the number, and this is going to correspond with the number on the legend. One thing that I really would love to see Mary's Diamonds add at some point is an inventory sheet. I really think that that is really helpful to use for making um, labels that you can put on your storage containers. And I, that's just something I really, really love when companies include. As it is, it's not a huge deal. I'll just make a copy of the legend on this canvas. Like I'll just put it on my scanner, that part on my scanner, or I'll take a picture of it and print it. Um, and then put that through my Zyron sticker maker, which is kind of like a little label, well, sticker maker, and put those on my storage uh, containers because I do kit up. These do come in Ziploc baggies. I know there are many of you that love working out of Ziploc baggies. 
I am absolutely not one of you. <laughs> I kit up every single time into storage containers. So you don't have to kit up though. That For those of you that love Ziploc baggies, yay. <laughs> we have, is this the 310? I believe it was. Let's take a close look. Now, round drills generally are much less trash prone than square drills. That doesn't mean that you're guaranteed to get trash free or consistently sized drills if you order round. But when Mary's Diamonds asked me which I would prefer, round or round or square, um, with a note that the, if you order round, they come with ABs. Square, they do not come with ABs. I chose round both because I didn't feel like taking the gamble on squares and because I wanted the ABs. <laughs> All right, here's a few more colors. I bet that's 550. That deep purple. This is going to be beautiful. All of these shades of pink and purple, and I'm saving the ABs for last. So if you're seeing them, like yes, I'm saving them for last on purpose. But here we go, some more darker colors. I'm gonna zip through these because we wanna get to the sparkly stuff, like the really sparkly stuff. <laughs> These colors are really lovely and okay, so they did, okay, that makes sense. Cause I was just thinking like, this does not look like enough drills <laughs> for that whole black background. So no, that's a different color. There's at least two bags of, this is the 310. So it looks like that's how they've handled that. If they, you know, if they needed more of a color than fit into one of these bags, they just added another bag. So I'm sure that <laughs> some of these colors um, our repeats, but I'll still show them to you. This is deep, deep purple. And more oranges. Okay. And then these two. And then, as I've left you in suspense, here are our ABs. This is a really pretty pale pink. And by the way, if you are hearing me say AB and don't know what that means, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It's a special kind of drill where they've taken these regular drills and put a special coating on top that's uh, iridescent, really, and gives off, you know, sometimes kind of a rainbow effect and just gives like that extra glint and sparkle that can really beautifully enhance a painting. This AB, I love that blue AB <laughs> with the kind of like green and yellow reflecting on the top as I just drop it. <laughs> That's not an AB. And then these two shades of green. Okay, I wonder if these are gonna go in her eyes. And if so, I mean, I'm gonna have a lot of leftover ABs, <laughs> but okay, sure, why not? Okay, let's flip this over and I'm gonna do a very quick, inventory of the colors i'd like to make sure that they are all present and accounted for um and then we're going to take a look at the canvas and pinpoint where these ab's are all going to go so um yeah let's do inventory together All right, so it looks like all of our colors are present and accounted for. So I'm going to shift these all off to the side. And since I just put them all in order, perhaps I'll try to put them away in some sort of order as well. I'm gonna take a really quick measurement on this canvas while we're at it. And ooh, we also wanna find out where all those APs are going to go. So, um, Almost there, okay. ABs, you stay out. <laughs> All right, so first things first, our two green ABs. We are looking for the, we're looking for the star symbol and the P symbol. And there is one star and three letter Ps, right there. That seems to be it <laughs> from what I can tell. That's completely fine. A little sparkle in her eye is a nice little thing. Okay, wait, no, there's a butterfly over here. I see a green star there. Um, yep, yeah, that may be about it. <laughs> Alrighty then. Thanks for the extra ABs, I suppose. Then let's take a look at, this is the blue AB, and this is 
we're looking for this clover symbol and I saw it's kind of randomly sprinkled here around the cuff of her jacket kind of randomly in here there's quite a bit over here in her shoulder that's an interesting choice for where to put a b so if we're looking at the original artwork you know what okay okay no i kind of buy that there is kind of a glint off of her shoulder it's not showing up in camera terribly well there you go okay okay fair fair <laughs> we'll give that a try um yeah, I suppose, yeah, in the original artwork, there are a couple of spots where there's this bluish and purple that does kind of give off a little bit of extra, I suppose, light and has that kind of sheen. So, okay, we'll see what we think of that. There's a tiny bit sprinkled up here as well. And I think that's what we have for the blue AB. So, okay, yeah, I'm curious to see how that's going to look. And then finally, this pale pink AB is, we're looking for this straight line symbol. And interestingly enough, it looks like that is the color in most of her skin. So her hands, like all of this white color and color blocking you see is gonna be this pale pink AB. Now, the, the coating on this one is actually relatively subtle, I think, especially when you compare it to an AB like this one. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that's gonna, not gonna feel odd. I don't usually see skin being the thing that's blinged out with ABs. But yes, yeah, sure enough, so here on her neck, a little bit in the butterflies actually that are all throughout here. And then again up here in her neck and then all here in her chin, kind of up her nose and her forehead here above her eye. I am intrigued. <laughs> oh, a little bit up here on the underside. Oh, you can't see that. A little bit up here on the underside of the umbrella as well. And here. So that is a really interesting choice. If I'm looking at the original artwork once more to share with you guys, yes, like that is the lightest part of the painting. And it feels like the idea is that that's where there's some kind of light effect that's hitting her face, you know, kind of the same way, like this light source is hitting her shoulder. So I am my initial reaction is that even though i'm a little surprised it's maybe not what i would have expected i am open to it i i think that it could actually make sense with the original artwork and that it could have a really nice effect i'm really really super intrigued to see see how that looks once it is has drills on <laughs> really quickly i'm going to do a quick measurement on this and then i have a little more info i'd like to share with you all so this is just a couple, it's, it's a half centimeter shy of 60. And then we are maybe a quarter centimeter. No, I think that's because it's not laying flat this way. So it's a tiny bit short width wise, but it looks like it's right on the money height wise. I'm going to call that true to size. So first impressions, I do think that I like what I'm seeing. I, with the exception of I'm not, I'm having very mixed feelings about these sort of, again, I think this is the soft lint canvas. I'm having very mixed feelings about these canvases that seem to be a little bit more popular lately with a lot of companies. Um, I am gonna put this under my mattress and hope that that helps it lay flat a little bit more evenly. And I'm hoping that once drills are on, that will help any of the other like really stubborn wrinkles to just sort of chill out and lay flat i have again i have found that to be the case with other kits but um that is something to keep in mind uh this kit has 42 colors and i think that's probably going to be about right for something like this they probably could have gone gotten away with less but 42 is you know a nice number of colors especially for a painting this size and hopefully the shading is going to be really lovely i like what i'm seeing of the rendering at first glance there's a lot of pink and red that I'm just intrigued to see how it all comes together and blends. Um, a couple other 
things I wanted to share with you that Mary's Diamonds had let me know and thought it would be helpful for you to know as well. And um, that is on July 21st. So coming up here really soon, they're actually launching a brand new line of diamond paintings that's going to be more budget oriented but still have the same quality and still be licensed images they're going to be getting some of their licensed images from uh, companies like shutterstock or other sort of stock image websites so they're still going to be premium um, licensed kits but they're just looking at branching out a little bit from their artist collective where they're licensing directly from the artist Again, licensing stock images is completely above board. You do have to pay to license stock images and that is what they are planning to do. Now, the artist collections are not going away. They're staying the same and they're still going to continue releasing um, new images to the collections periodically. There will actually be 10 more new images in a new release on August 1st. So stay tuned for that. And you can check out the whole batch of new releases they just did in the past week or two. Finally, on July 21st, they're going to start shipping to 10 more countries than they currently do. They didn't tell me which countries those are going to be, but just so you're aware, if you've wanted to order from Mary's Diamonds and haven't been able to yet, um, because you, for international shipping reasons, Stay tuned. Hopefully your country will be one of the ones on that list. But all that being said, I think that's all that I have to share with you guys for today. Um, I encourage you to take a look at Mary's Diamonds. I also encourage you to keep an eye out for sales. It seems like they run sales fairly, or other specials or promos fairly regularly. Follow them on Instagram. Um, sometimes they'll share coupon codes or like a buy two, get one free sort of sale. Definitely stay tuned for those kinds of things. I would not suggest paying full price for one of their kits because they do seem to run sales often enough. Anyway, I hope this was helpful for you to get a look at what Mary's Diamonds has to offer at the moment. Um, I, I hope that this video was helpful for you and a huge thank you again to Mary's Diamonds for sending this kit over to me to share with you all. If you have any questions about it or any kind of initial thoughts about it, please leave them down in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving a thumbs up before you head on out of here. And if you're not already subscribed, I'd love for you to subscribe and join me here for more diamond painting content like unboxings like this, also lots of post reviews, whip and chats, uh, tutorials, you name it, I, I try to make it happen. <laughs> All right, friends, I hope you have a really wonderful week and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.